Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Virginia. Today, you're going to learn the what and the how of answering questions negatively with be present and be past. Let's start with what. What are these answers and statements used for? They can be used to talk about the present or the past. For example, I'm not a gamer. I wasn't a gamer. Good! Now let's learn how. How do you use these answers and statements? First, know how to conjugate be present. If you want to talk about yourself, please repeat. No, I'm not. If you want to talk about me, no, you're not. If you want to talk about a man, for example, Evan, no, he's not. If you want to talk about a woman, for example, Kim, no, she's not. If you want to talk about you and me, no, we're not. If you want to talk about other people, no, they're not. Second, know how to conjugate be past. If you want to talk about yourself, please repeat. No, I wasn't. If you want to talk about me, no, you weren't. If you want to talk about a man, for example, Evan, no, he wasn't. If you want to talk about a woman, for example, Kim, no, she wasn't. If you want to talk about you and me, no, we weren't. If you want to talk about other people, no, they weren't. It's very important to memorize these conjugations fluently before you start practicing video B. Next, you need to study your vocabulary. For example, I wasn't a bartender. Shy. Next to the coffee shop. Keep in mind that your facial expression is very important. Watch me. For example, I'm not a webmaster. I wasn't a webmaster. I'm not clever. I wasn't clever. I'm not around the corner. I wasn't around the corner. Let's try saying some statements together. Please repeat after me. I'm not a webmaster. Great job! Remember to think about your facial expression. Let's do another. Please repeat after me. I wasn't clever. Good! Remember to follow my intonation. Let's do one more. Please repeat after me. I'm not around the corner. Excellent! We'll practice these examples and more in video B. Now, let's review. First, what are be present and be past answers and statements used for. They can be used to talk about the present and the past. Second, how do you use these answers and statements? You use them by knowing the conjugation of be present and be past and building a more specific answer with the vocabulary. Well done! Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own answers. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Virginia. See you next time.